Hey guys, welcome to Jason Whiskey Wise and myself, Jason, bringing you whiskey review number 44, where today we're going to review the Motlac 18 year old. So as you can see over there, I got myself a dram from Drinks by the Dram for the Motlac 18. I'm a big fan of the Motlac distillery. Uh, it's one of my favorite distilleries in Scotland, but haven't had a chance to visit because I just love the whiskeys I've produced. So I'm gonna pour myself a dram and get to the review itself. Now, if you haven't heard of Motlac, they're nicknamed the Beast of Speyside because they produce these very rich, powerful, and robust fruity flavored whiskies, which just sort of dominate the palates with spices and sweetness and fruity notes all over the place. So I'm gonna be critiquing this one very, well, quite a lot, I'd say, if you want to speak. But anyway, if you also want to know a bit more about Motlac, they use them in the, I believe, Johnny Walker sort of higher limit, or higher one blends. So you think Blue Label contains Motlac and a couple other whiskies in there. So Motlac is quite used quite a few different things. At the same time, the distillery, which I'll ping a bottle over there of the 18, uh, they do also distill the whiskey 2.81 times. So not double distillation, you're talking a little bit higher. Uh, almost, I think they're one of the very few distilleries that can triple distill a whiskey. So you're talking a little bit more, so 2.81 times to be more specific. But anyway, from that note, we're gonna actually get into my assessment itself. So to begin with the age statement, this one is an 18 year old whiskey. It is bottled at an ABV of 43.4% ABV. And in terms of the cast selection used, they do use a combination of two casks, which are the ex bourbon casks and the sherry casks. So, two casks used in the maturation of the 18. Now, the distillery itself is the Motlac Distillery, which you'll see a picture of just over there. If you are passing through and you do see that distillery, See if you can check it out. And uh, also the company which is owning it is Diageo, which big spirits company. You'll see them all over the world uh, producing, I think, all the Johnny Walkers. You've got Lagavulin, Talisker, uh, Craig and Moore, uh, Oban, just to name a few off the top of my head. So big drinks company. Uh, in terms of the region itself, it's located in Speyside, Scotland, which we'll just see over here. And I'm hoping to go have a visit there soon so I can go and check out all the distilleries, take you guys with me and do some distillery tours as well. Now, in terms of the price point, this is a thing that damages them a little bit, is the price point on this 18 for a half liter, which is that bottle there, is 152 pounds for a half liter. So you're talking quite big money for an 18 year old whiskey, which makes it close to, I think, 220 pounds for a 70 CL and 300 and 304 pounds for a liter which is crazy money. So quite high prices over there, but in terms of exclusivity, it is not exclusive. It's part of the core range, which does include the special strength, which is travel retail, rare old, which is core, part of the core range for domestic market, the 18 and the 25, which are all domestic market releases as well. Now in terms of caramel coloring, they do not specify anywhere on the bottles or in terms of actually anywhere. So I'm gonna say a mixture of yes and no. It doesn't say anywhere on this dram. And I have checked out the bigger bottles, just couldn't see it anywhere. So I'm gonna go yes slash no. If you do know, leave it down below in the comment section. Um, but yeah, let's get into the review. So if I don't know, I'm gonna say we're gonna skip the color assessment, but it does have a sort of reddish amber sort of hue to it. So. It has got a nice sort of dark color. So if it does have natural color, then you are talking quite a nice style of whiskey, but I think it's artificially colored, just to be honest with you guys. So anyway, let's move into the nose of the whiskey. So into the nose of the Motlac 18. So to begin with the nose of this Motlac 18, I can definitely see why it's called the Beast of Space Side. The nose is so powerful that, I don't know if it's the 43% ABV, because I do drink a lot of cast strength whiskeys, but it does definitely hit you straight away in the nose. And getting those nice rich sort of fruity notes, dried fruits, a uh, combination of vanilla, quite creamy as well, but those dried fruits are back and it sort of reminds me as well of a little bit of a leathery note and behind there a little bit of uh, sort of aged cigars. It's got quite a nice, very rich, but so powerful and a little bit of musky notes as well there. So quite interesting nose on this more like 18. Very interesting stuff there. So next let's move into the actual palette for this whiskey. So into the palette. Wow. To begin, this is definitely powerful, a powerful whiskey. It's not the ABV. It's just the way in which it's so silky and it just coats all over the palate. You're talking those dry fruits. It sort of reminds me of milk chocolate raisins, the way in which you get the sweet notes combined with the sort of fruity notes, those dry fruits. 
definitely greeted with some spice and more towards nutmeg, a little bit of aniseed and a hint of cloves or yeah, more cloves, no black pepper actually, I was going to say black pepper, more cloves and uh, nutmeg initially, initially. So, and a bit of a gingery warmth as well with it. Those dry fruits I'm talking about, those classic sherry styled, more towards raisins, figs, prunes and plums. Yeah, I'd say no dates in on this one. So quite really rich in texture and just the way in which it coats the palate is just so enjoyable. It sinks into your jawline and it goes into the taste buds so well. Really enjoyable. It's almost too easy to drink, so to speak. And definitely getting a slight sweeter tobacco on the actual palate. And it also gives slight notes of oily, sort of slightly toasted walnuts, which is so enjoyable. So really nice palate on this whiskey. So next, let's move into the finish and give our final conclusion on this whiskey. Interesting. So actually, one more note I wanted to add into the palate, which was developing as I left it on the finish for a little while, is more towards like an espresso or an Americano coffee. Very rich coffee notes and then a bit of dark chocolate but up there with a sort of like 80 to 90 percent not super super dark chocolate which sort of gives it a little sweetness so very interesting on that bit of palate but then moving into the finish now those dry fruits are back combination of that dark chocolate coating the palate you're getting a slight presence of an oaky note in a very nice and long finish really enjoyable and a slight bitter note is back but then it fades very quickly and makes way for that coffee sort of note back again and it's like oaky present so really really i like that a lot and i'm a big fan of more like and that one is really really nice so anyway moving on to my actual rating of the whiskey and my comments and i'm actually going to include the price point of view because when i did taste this one i didn't think about the price and then putting the price into it changed the game altogether so i'm actually going to give it think yeah, I'm going to go with the 88 because I didn't want to subtract too much from what I was thinking initially. But 88 out of 100 for this Motlack 18. I just love the way in which it's so robust with its fruity notes and the flavors, the silky mouthfeel, the fruity notes, the spices. It's almost too easy drinking at one point uh, when you've had on the palate for quite some time. The little bit of coffee note that develops, the sort of leathery sort of tobacco note that on, the, on the nose. And the sort of nutty notes as well. It's just offering so much. The only downside for this whiskey, and I wouldn't recommend water, just so you guys know. Um, but the only downside I feel is the price point of view. It's just too high, and it's taken away so much points from this whiskey because I feel if you don't have that sort of money, it's just too pricey. And if if, if you guys want to try this, check out Drinks by the Dram. By the way, they're not paying for this one. Uh, I paid for all my drams myself. Um, but check them out. I think you can get a dram for around about £18 or £15. So if you want to try the Mortlac -like 18, let me know what you think. I will have a lot more upcoming independent bottles of Mortlac -like and also the 25, which will be next. But uh, price point for you is just the only thing that subtracts a lot from this whiskey. It's just so enjoyable, so fruity. Um, a little bits of spice that just pop up all over the palate and that sort of slight sweeter note. Really good whiskey, just the price again. <laughs> I just don't know why Diageo decided to bottle it as a 50cl, just as a luxury whiskey. I feel uh, that took away from it. But minus that, great whiskey. Let me know what you think. If you have tried the More Like 18, down below in the comment section. And uh, follow me on my blog as well. I'll leave my social medias to my Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram. And be sure to click the subscribe button if you haven't already. Check out my latest video, or my last video on the More Like range, which will be the special strength. And let me know what you guys think down below in the comment section. But anyway, on that note, I'm going to wrap the video up here. If you have enjoyed the video, by all means, please do drop it a like. Share it if you have any friends that love the sort of rich, fruity, malt -like style. And on that note, this has been Jason Whiskey Wise. And I'll catch you all on the next video.